worldwide. A major stock sell-off gained back some ground late today. The Dow ended with a loss of about 126 points, just ahead of Wall Street's extended Columbus Day weekend. For our top story tonight, we start with News Channel 15's Megan Stemble, who met with U.S. Representative Mark Souter today. Now, one week ago, Souter voted in favor mm -hmm. of the bailout plan. What's he saying now about all of this? Well, essentially, he says that that $700 billion won't start circulating into the economy for another three weeks or so. He says that is just one measure the federal government has taken not to fix the problem we're in here, but just to help, to help stop the bleeding. According to Souter, the situation is going to get worse before it gets better. U.S. Representative Mark Souter likens the fallout of the U.S. economy to a giant rock headed downhill. At the bottom, small town America, northeast Indiana, the innocent victim that will pay the price for greed on Wall Street. The second domino of the crash is about to fall, says Souter. The ability of not just small businesses, but big businesses, GM for instance, to buy inventory and pay their employees. We have been avoiding that freeze up for about two weeks. If we hadn't done the bailout, this would have hit Fort Wayne last week. Like President Bush in his address this morning, Souter says you should not panic and the last thing you should do is take your money out of the bank and out of the market. If you want your money, then some, they've got to go get it from somewhere and it's in somebody else's house, somebody else's company. So we've got to be careful that we don't cave the whole system and the government's trying to do short term support so we don't have long term collapse. Souter says he expects the market to rebound within a couple of years. He believes the federal government is doing what it needs to do to control the economic freefall, at least for now. We're trying things, but there's no guarantee that any of it's going to work. Souter did compare this market plummet to the stock market crash in 1929. He said the Great Depression didn't come until two years later. That's what they're really focusing on right now to try to prevent. That's scary to think about that a, happening. A couple of years, he says, that it'll come back. That is, that's pretty scary. Yeah. Well, let's hope.